All right, you're looking at the TV personality, luxury real estate agent Ryan Serhant. He is responsible for some of New York's most lucrative deals. Although the market has had its twists and turns because of COVID, our area still remains pretty hot. That's what he's saying. Friend of the show, Ryan Serhant, joining us this morning with Real Estate Trends. Hello, Ryan. Good morning. How are you? Good. So you, you think in real estate in our area, in the Manhattan, or you're talking all the boroughs, things are doing well? Well, New York City specifically is doing incredibly well. And thank goodness, you know, I got into this business the day Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy. And it is still drilled into my head that real estate is a tough, tough, tough market to be in. But since COVID, last year was a great year. This year is already shaping up to be amazing. I mean, last year, you know, closings were up 77%. Contracts signed were up 50%. There was $30 billion huh. in residential sales done in New York City just last year, the biggest year ever. Wow, that's and crazy because we heard so many people had moved out of the city. Did they move back or are we getting other people here? You can't believe the news can't believe the news. <laughs> people left, but more people actually moved to New York City last year and then left the city. And if you have tried to rent an apartment in New York City or buy an apartment in the last six to eight months, you're going to feel that pressure. There is low inventory and there is heavy demand and it's putting a lot of upward pressure on pricing to the point where the average price point for a condo in New York City now is just under $2 million, almost the highest it has ever been. Wow. And there is no sign of it slowing down. So anyone who's listening to this and saying, ah, well, now it's at the peak doing that, you can't time the market. You can never do it. It is always going to go up, and then it's always going to go down. If you try to time it, that's like someone trying to say, well, I don't want to buy a convertible because it rains. <laughs> Have fun. Live your life. The dinosaurs died one time. You might one day, too, so keep going. Everything's going to be okay. So, Ryan, is there, I love your analogy, um, is there a particular price range that is very difficult right now? Uh, you know, Manhattan is a unique space because the numbers are, are large. You know, up to three million is very, very active, is definitely a seller's market. Um, properties sub three million are selling within a matter of weeks, if not a couple months. Uh, between three and seven million, and sometimes up to that kind of 10 range, there's a bit more inventory. So you're seeing average days on market trending over 200, sometimes up to about 280, 281. And then north of 10 million, the luxury market and the super luxury market is moving incredibly fast. You're seeing properties come to market for $20 million and selling in two days wow. because there just isn't enough inventory for that luxury buyer. Huh. All right. I always love playing the game, the real estate game with you, Ryan, where you yeah. show me some of your real estate and I get to do guess it. what it is, right? How much it is. Yes. All right. You're, you're, you're sort of okay at this game. Sort I'll just of, say. Sort of. Every yeah. time I see you, though, I'm like, she's going to get it this time. She's going to get it. All right. So tell us about our first property. All right. So this one is 390 West End. This okay. is one of my favorite buildings. It is called the Apthorpe. It's a historic, a landmark building on the Upper West Side. This is 4,200 square feet over two floors, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, wow. gorgeous eating kitchen, amazing, incredible millwork. Look at those ceilings. Look at the arched windows, all original restored details in a building that was originally built in 1908. What do you think it's worth? Okay, so you said it's over 4,000 square feet, three yep. bedrooms, duplex. Mm, I'm going to say 10 million. Wow. I'm in my office by myself. I don't even know who I'm looking at right now, but wow. 9.888 is the asking price. You Good probably, job. The owner probably wanted 10 million, and you, you little sly devil, you, you said, no, we're going to go for 9888. Listen, it's the, the buyer psychology, those eights. That's those right, eights the eights. Okay, show me another one. Let me see if I'm, I'm, I'm really on, onto this game now. All right, so next up we have 116 East 63rd Street, right? So this is prime Upper East Side, low 60s. This is a gut-renovated pre-war co-op with a lot of gorgeous custom millwork throughout. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 
huge oversized Pella lifestyle sash windows, triple exposure. Uh, you've got a custom uh, Rochelle Gris marble fireplace. It's pre-war, full service, really just very, very, very top of the line. Gorgeous, gorgeous features throughout. You said co-op, right? Eighth floor. Co-op? Co-op, eighth floor, 63rd Street, three bedrooms. Five million. I don't know what's, maybe it's the 2022 in you. I don't know what's going on. Four and a half. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. I am on the trends with Ryan Serhan today. All right, let's, let's go for th three. Third is the charm. Let's do it. Okay. So this one is, this is a fun one. So this is a penthouse apartment in Chelsea. Mm. Okay, this is 43 West 21st. Mm. Really, really, really cool. Uh, it's actually in, in Flatiron on the border of, of Chelsea. Um, uh, it is a duplex. It is a three bedroom, three bathroom, 2,700 square feet interior. That's the outside space. You have a 1,400 wow. square foot private roof. You actually have a separate roof on the other side outside the primary, the, the primary bedroom suite. Really, really cool. Open concept living. The second floor is this great office space, mezzanine space, plus the primary suites. 43 West 21st, so 21st between 5th and 6th. Prime flat iron. Oh, right yeah. next to Brian no. Chelsea. It's hot downtown. What do you think? It's hot downtown. The kids want to go downtown. That's where everybody wants to be. It's trendy, trendy, trendy. And it's usually overpriced, overpriced, overpriced. So mm. I'm going to say <laughs> nine million. Okay, you know, two for three, not so bad. So nine million. My seller is probably watching this right now. And, and he's probably saying, I told you, Ryan. I told you. <laughs> no, the asking price is five and a half. Steal. Oh. Steal of a deal. The 2022 wow. deal of the year. So wait, how many square feet there? 2,700 interior, oh, 1,400 20. exterior. Now, it's not a full-service building. Oh. It's a condo. Oh, wait. But it's a okay. boutique building, penthouse. No, you didn't tell me that it was not a full-service, Ryan. You didn't ask me. I'm not. What are the rules here? <laughs> All right, one more. I'm feeling very, very... Do we have one more? We don't have any more. Yeah. All right, Ryan, first of all, um, how's your baby? Baby's good. Zena's good. I think she's at a play date right now. She's turning three at the end of February, so she's like... She understands everything when she wants to. So mm -hmm. there's definitely some tantrums. There's a lot. She's yep, so there sweet. she is. Does Took she her know, on a boat. She wasn't about the boat. Does she know buy, sell yet? Does she, does, does she have those words down? Kind of, you know, she knows how to negotiate. She's on the phone all the time, <laughs> you know, doing deals with random, with Mickey Mouse, with, you know, Coco Melon, with the uh, Paw Patrol. We took her to Paw Patrol over the holidays, the, the live experience in Hudson Yards. Yes. So you can, like, immerse yourself in it. I was there for, like, four hours. Wow, you are it's, a good uh, dad. It was it was a lot. You're yeah. a good no, I was there for me. She, she tagged along with me. I was in the balls. I was taking out kids left and right on the zip line. I was, it wasn't for her. <laughs> Ryan, is, what about your real estate show? Is it coming back? What's the story? Yeah, we just finished season nine of Million Dollar List in New York on Bravo. Uh, season 10, as far as I'm concerned, should be here. Should be here shortly. There is no shortage of real estate drama, especially in my life. Exactly. Always fun talking with you. Thank you so much for coming on. Good day. All the best. Okay.